Yes, the super hat. I tell you, this is where I get my powers from. Without the hat, I'm nothing. Ooh la la. Oh my my. Bit of context. Is the first of October, player? is now October 2019. I've come back from end of summer holiday. I've pushed it all the way into October because I felt like it. And now we're back on it. We are going to build on the change that we achieved in the previous video. Right, so this program started like every other program. We set a target. We are going to do two main measurements, one right now and one potentially six months into the future to see where we've landed. Have you got your measures from before or not? I have them in the diary or in the video. How old are you? 29. For this new program, I'm going for a level up transformation. So obviously I want a bit of sculpting around my shoulders, around my chest and abs. Like now I've got expectations for myself because yes. I can. Can I just give you a chest measure? I think the goal now is to sculpt a bit more as it was you wanted there, mm -hmm. around the deltoids and stuff like that. So give it a new program. Also a little bit of mass will go a long way. I am just skinny and I've realized that I can burn through everything. Any amount of food with a bit more exercise, I'm sure that I won't be able to gain much muscle. So I'm going for lean and strength instead because that's an achievable goal for me. For now we're gonna do side dips, we're gonna do some crunches bit of weight, a little bit of flexibility here and there. We are going to be doing loads of those pull-ups because I just love them. It gives you that nacho shape. It is the start of week four and it's nice and sunny and not all that cold, but it is windy. Progression so far, I'm not seeing a massive change. In my previous video, I was eating at a caloric deficit to lose weight because that was my goal. Now we're not losing weight anymore, we're building muscle, so we need to up the calorie in count a little bit. The way I handled my nutrition for this was fairly simple. Everything had to be home cooked. Ice cream had to be Jude's, the only one that's good enough and actually tastes like ice cream. Shut the fuck up, phone. High protein meals, there's beef, there's chicken, turkey, salads, greenery. I mean, basically just eat healthy, but more. Healthy vibes here at Unity Fitness. With every membership, you get a fat pepper. There's some people on YouTube have asked me what I eat. I got a shit ton of fruit for them smoothies or for the yogurt and granola. Like the fruit just keeps piling up. There's some veg, obviously eggs and avocado. There is no meal without an avocado. I always forget bags, so then I'll just take a random empty box that is on the floor of the shop when they stock up. And I always get the same look like, do you need a bag or do you have a box? But so far we've just lifted plenty and plenty of weight. So we're doing a new thing now. Basically Lucas started this UFL thing and I've been randomly assigned on Team Blue, which is currently losing. We're gonna focus quite like a lot of our first two months or so on a lot of cardio as well. And we are gonna be training for that in teams on top of our usual workouts. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh boy, is it? Hey! Yeah, basically, I'm struggling to actually finish the program. I get about three quarters in and then I'm just like wiped. I can barely move. Did not expect this to happen. Wow. Obviously, I'm super excited about this new part of the transformation, but it is very different than the first time around. I think that I'm in really good shape, but when it comes to this new program, I am not in shape at all. <laughs> So the UFL challenge came and went pretty fast. By the end, we actually did win. Team Blue started last, finished first, you know, as it happened since I was there, I figured, okay. And cardio paid off. I did actually lose a little bit more weight. Didn't think I had any more left. One other percent. And from here on out, it's all strength training. Like, go nuts, we're gonna go hard, we're gonna put weights on, we're gonna hang with weights hanging from us. It's gonna be insane. We are gonna be in a life of pain and misery for the next three months. Enjoy. And at this point, it's like, hey, you know what? This this boxing class and the timetable. I'm gonna start attending that as well, because why not? It's nice and sunny today. It's a legitimate 10 
10 degrees and I feel like taking the roof off just because I haven't done it in a while. And at this point, my entire plan, my whole transformation begins to fail. I decide to, you know what, go off to China for 10 days on a work trip and uh, that's it with the fitness. I mentioned this in my previous video, when you're traveling, it's really hard to actually work out and stay in shape unless you focus a lot on your nutrition and get some exercise when you can. So I managed to work out once in Shanghai and it actually served like a pretty good break because I was already feeling that new sort of, that cumulative fatigueness. This place is empty. There were like two or three other people yesterday. Today, there's literally no one. And then just a little bit more cardio just to make sure that we're good. There is a video, in fact there are two videos from Shanghai while I was actually working. If you're interested in that, bit of travel, bit of filmmaking. But do that after you've watched this, obviously. I do want to show off my skills. I'm just sick and tired of sitting. Did some squats, did some push-ups here in the minibar area. What was the note to myself? I forgot. Buy some additional Alright, bye. Right, boom, let's get back in the swing of it because we've lost a little bit of strength while we're off for about 10 days. Strength goes so fast, it's unreal. After a couple of weeks of traveling in Shanghai, didn't get the coronavirus. Yeah, we got it, we good? We are gonna go hit it hard. Oh no, wait, I have to go to Tampa for another work trip. Don't worry, I promise you, this is the last trip I'm doing in 2020. Right, I didn't even jog, I walked about 10, 15 miles a day because it's the States, everywhere you go it's long. So now I've basically missed like three weeks. So my strength is just gonna go. It's gonna disappear, it's gonna remove itself from my life. Good morning in this lovely sunny infused February in Canterbury. Let's go. New program kicks off now. Coronavirus is obviously a little bit of an issue at the moment while all of us are still going to the gym as much as we can but in smaller groups we're trying to keep a distance we're all stocking up on food you remember what happened so at this point I'm thinking I'm gonna take advantage of most of the time I have also Claudia's there all the time her and I are challenging each other to do more and get stronger and faster so that's been a big help in getting back to where I was Oh, and this is Miranda, looking incredibly impressed of me filming her right now, this very second. Look at her smile. Yeah. Yes. Come down. <laughs> so at this point, the government is warning us that soon, quite probably, all gyms will have to shut down, which means that we're not gonna meet the five month mark. Let me think about this. October, November, December, January, February. But we're gonna do these measurements anyway, so we can have them on record. I'm not very hyped about this because I know it's not gonna be all that great. Who are all these people? What are they doing here so early? What's happening, Luke? It's been like two months since we updated or like looked into developing. Um, What's happening? Yeah, we're gonna rewrite um, Bogdan's program a little bit, see how he's doing with the progress. I feel like my strength has improved definitely, but my size, Luke, not so much. Not too worried if your body fat percent's gone up, as long as it's under like 15, two and a half kilos. Let's see if it's body fat or muscle. <laughs> Put your hands up. Oh, I've gone up 14% body fat and two and a half kilos. I expected that. <laughs> okay, so the chest has gone up, which is good. Um, so you have put some muscle on. Let's talk about your goals. So in my mind, I can still achieve this in just over five months, maybe half a year. Let's say six months, because it's a nice round number. What's this supposed to do? Yo. Core exercise that helps sides bleeds. Yeah. Yeah. Let me have a go. A landmine switch. <laughs> Keep yourself tight. Social distancing. Okay. Are we all in? Ah, Luke's there. I'll do hands down. Okay, ready. I'm 
showing off with all these mad explosive movements because I do like the explosive exercise, but it, it oh my days, it's just, nah. It's, it's hard work to get to a point where you can maintain the explosiveness for like at least 20 reps. 20, what, are you, what am I talking about? 20, are you insane? 5 and you're dead, 10 and you're a boss. 20 is like super huge. Four minutes. Four minutes. <laughs> of uh, cardio, he means. There have been exactly three times where I felt that I was gonna be legitimately sick. Today was one of those days. Apparently, we've been doing supersets since we started this new workout. I didn't even know. I'm gonna die. See you later, Luke. Okay. Nice. You're getting strong. That is nice. And then boom, it happened. I got them sniffles with the headaches and the sore eyes and everything hurting. After like 10 days of being quarantined because I actually had them sniffles or maybe I had the actual corona. Who knows? Everything is at a standstill right now in my time. We're going back. And I've decided I'm gonna go hard just because I can so I can regret it for the next two days. Upside, the strength of the building has settled in, so I am pretty strong now. Which means I can up my weights in everything. Is Luke speaking to himself? Usual habitat. <laughs> yeah, so since you changed my course, I've been at it for two weeks straight. Really hard. Deep, profound pain I've never felt before. Ah, uh, keep cracking on, you'll be right. <laughs> Boom, it happens, a lockdown, no one's going anywhere, gym shut down, everyone move into home workout mode. Two things are running through my head. The whole world is gonna be extremely fat or extremely fit at the end of this. Anyway, we do a final session together. We say our goodbyes as if the apocalypse is coming. I'm getting ready for the Walking Dead scenario. I even buy the games on Xbox. I play them quite a bit. I get used to it. This will probably be funnier now, but at the time it was a genuine issue. Remember when there was literally no toilet roll available to buy, like, anywhere? I have got one toilet roll at home. One That's worth a fortune. <laughs> Five months into this new workout, and we're cutting it short, but we're having measurements today! You've been killing me, like, you've been giving me hard work. Yeah. And on the very last session, we do one very last measurement to see if two weeks has made a difference. It has. A little bit. One measly kilo down and four centimeters in my chest. So, okay, I've put on some muscle. That's a lot of months for a lot of work for like one kilo down. <laughs> yeah, but there's going to be some muscle build, so... Needless to say, this is how I'm leaving and we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna adapt all this to take home with us. Yes, the corona! It's really messing up our plans, isn't it? Let me know in the comments if you've been in this position. Hey, I brought you a belated birthday gift. I got the dog on the toilet roll, yes! Yeah. Okay, thank you, bye. <laughs> So we're going home now, it's all about home workouts and it takes me like a week to figure out what it is that, that I'm doing. Experimenting with a lot of going outside as per the government's encouragement purely for unlimited isolated exercise. I complied. 
So we split the workouts into three specific days. There's upper body focusing on chest and a bit of shoulders. Then there's core. We're doing all of that with some crazy L sits that are just, you have never felt pain till you've tried to do an L sit. And then the lower body, especially the legs. After a tough mother last year, oh, fuck this. <sighs> I kind of messed up my knees. So for the past year, I've just been in recovery mode with physio. We can do a video on that some other time if, if you want it. And the taste of calisthenics, which I always fancy doing. It's a Monday. What's up, Ham? Is that ready made squash? It's what? Ready made squash. Yeah. Okay, I'm not eating the way. How's your workout? I'm in the middle of it. Anyway, we're trying to do crazy things over here. It's mad, like we're doing upside down push-ups. What do you call them? Handstand push-ups. I even, look, listen, I even managed to do a handstand. And I nailed it. Out of nowhere. Like after a solid straight month of doing all this, I actually did a headstand. In a couple of days, we're gonna have our 10th clap. That would be 10 weeks of quarantine. And that would be 10 weeks of working out from home and adapting Especially recently, my whole workout with the goal of a planche. And it's cloudy outside. All the things I needed to know today. 17% body fat. That's the one thing that Luke said to be careful about. If it goes over 15%, if this is accurate. But look at the difference. 17% now and 22% a year and a half later. You know, this has been a fun video. I've actually enjoyed making it is basically what it looks like at the moment. Overall, pretty impressed with myself. On a serious note, though, I've been really pleased with the result. Breaks or not, I was a bit inconsistent with this transformation, but it happens. I guess life just gets in your way. Yeah, I actually reached all my targets. Thanks again, Luke. Also during lockdown, with the emails, with the tips, with all the zooms. If you haven't seen my previous fitness video, the one where I actually do the foundation for what happened in this video, then check it out. I left the link below and do not forget to subscribe to my channel by pressing that sub button right there and the little bell next to it to get them notifications when I upload. And drop a comment if you've enjoyed it, if you've learned anything or if you found it useful. I guess the last one, that's the most important one. I'm gonna leave you here and I'm gonna finish this video and then I'm gonna upload it for you but I will catch you on the next one soon enough. Later! Break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never no, give it up. Take, take, taking that crown from you.